Central Region were crowned overall champions of the 30th edition of the Ghana Education Service Inter-Regional Senior High Sports Festival held in Cape Coast last week. Long-standing records spanning over 30 years were broken and new ones set. The 5,000 meters record, which was set in 1986 by Paul Hemet from the Central Region at a time of 14 minutes 36 seconds when the event was held in Tamale, was broken by William Amponsa from the Central Region at a time of 14 minutes 33 seconds. The track events of 3,000, 800, 400 and 200 records were all broken. The high jump record, which stood at 2.02 meters for eight years, was broken to a new height of 2.05 meters. Ashanti Region dominated in the track events, winning goals in 100, 200 and 400 in both male and female events.
The Upper East Region, spearheaded by Larry Basakat, swept the gold medals in all the long-distance events. Other events such as the long jump and short put for both boys and girls were all mouth-watering as ever, pulling spectators off the streets. The most competitive were the field track events where Derek Sarkodie, 200 meters new record holder, cheetah of the Ashanti region boys setup, strode the tracks with ease. Hohalut made the 100, 200 and 1 by 400 meters look so easy. Kwesi Free Sports spoke to some of the athletes. Oh, it was not difficult, there was 1,005. And I've been doing it. I think this was just something for us to compete and then every the region will see. We've been competing this one for a long time, it's not just today. Thousand five is my race. I've been competing for national one and all these things. I think yesterday I did work for the three thousand 
This year that was the longest race that I ran, 30,000. I've been running 1,500, 1,500, competing with Rita. And go was here about three months ago, compete 1,500. I wasn't feeling well then. Rita came and she was grateful. So I think it's all, this is not just David Cott for me. What does this mean to you? Oh yeah, it's my work. I think that's my talent. And I, I eat, talk about athletics, running, my events, especially my events. I think I should get a scholarship to go to outside, also compete there with the Kenyans. I've gone there before, that was 2014. I represent Ghana. Then 2014, I was young, then I came back. I think this one just is my race. So something beautiful for me. Oh, when I ran the 800 and I had the second, I was hurt because I was hungry. My face was turned back. I said, oh, the moment I have to get second, a first rather, so that in order to let my colleagues to be happy for me too. Did you believe you could win this race when you started? Yeah, I believed in myself. So far as I prayed to God and I said, after this one day I can make it, I made it. In one, I made it. I said, uh, in fact, I wanted first, and I know very well that I can do better than this. So, from here, in fact, I won't end. I'm going to train more. I'm going to, this is not where I want to end. I really want to continue. But you know things. I just have to give thanks to the Almighty God. So, I thank God for this position. What happened, and you didn't get the position you were looking for? In fact, okay, the starting wasn't all that easy. Others were crossing me here and there, so it made me use. In fact. I used a lot of effort to push forward, so I'll blame my start. I didn't start well. And getting to the last round, to somewhere along the 200 meters, I used a lot of strength getting to the 100 meters lane. So, and also, maybe I can also blame my knee because my coaches would be my witness that I have a little injury. So maybe I'm praying that next time. I get healed and do better than this. So currently as we speak, what should we look for from Sarkodia in the next few years in athletics? Okay, in the next two years athletics, I wish you that you will see me at the Seniors Olympics Games coming on, on 2020. In Tokyo 2020, is that what you're saying? Yes. I wish you all the best. Okay, thank you. Um, no, it wasn't that difficult for me because earlier on this season I haven't had my best and then running 10-7, 10, 10-6 10, is, is not the best. You know, um, this season I've been running 10-4, 10, 10-5 10, and then I think that one is best. I think we are facing many challenges when we came here with the camp and then with everything that is going on. That's the reason why it has led to this because everybody is complaining the fastest man has been beaten and then so on and so forth. So, you know, when you don't just become very good at once on the track, it doesn't mean you are a bad athlete. You are just not fit for the season. Yeah. You mentioned challenges. What are these challenges that you encountered? You no, know, when we came to the camp, Challenges like diets and then providing medication for us, a place where we sleep, mosquitoes, everything. It is, it is that challenge that I'm talking about. Okay. You mentioned that the race wasn't a difficult one. You mentioned about the time you've been making, which hasn't been the best for you, and the time you feel is the best for you. What do you think you should have done to ensure that you won these races? Um, I think I needed to push more, but, you know, when, when I saw myself pushing more, I, I, I saw my um, stretch, like I, I, I wanted to pull, yeah. So I told myself I should relax and then all that I needed to do was to swing my arms from, from my hips and then I needed to go very fast. So that's what was my plan, my plan B. That's, that's the reason why I came third. But had it not to be that pulling that I would have had, I, I would have come first, yeah. That's what I think made me came second.
Gold Coast 2018, Tokyo 2020, are you look, looking up to competing in these events for the country? Yeah, Tokyo 2020 is my project. We, me and my coach, Coach Cora, we are planning for Tokyo 2020. And then I'm counting on the leaders in this country to help us because we are willing to sacrifice all the last blood of, of us on the track so that Ghana can play somewhere. So I'm just counting on them. They should give us the support financially, economically, and then we'll give it our best. Oh, I, I feel happy because for me, from the starting, I don't have stats, but when we get to the 50 meters that way, then my speed will come. So probably that's all I will do in my race. So it means that you won this race from the final 50 meters. Was that a difficult race for you? Actually, it was difficult, but when we get to the 50, uh, 80 to 95 meters there, it wasn't that difficult for me. Because, because I've made it during our entire schools and colleges, personas, and I, I, I was the first. So normally I know here yeah, I'll place first. Having won this, what does it mean to you, considering that there's Tokyo 2020, there's Gold Coast 2018 also coming up? Yeah, I'm praying hard that during my training that God should protect me and give me strength so that I'll train hard for 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 next years coming. Training there, my coach, and mommy train or mommy hard training. Sunny a baya a true competition, a baby easy, a mommy. Nay and nice. Me share the rea. Yes, you are training me now. Now me share the way I'm bedroom and I'm the same thing I'm here. Me the nyami asi so I'm a man who the nyami team the difference. Congratulations! You seem to win almost every single single competition. What is the secret? The secret is about our training. We take them serious and then with the help of the coaches and then God, we are able to come this far. Specifically, how do you do it? Um, we we go by the teamwork. We love ourselves. We just motivate each other and then say that we can we can do it and then I think that's what we did and then now we have to make it. From now, what should we expect from Ashanto region? From now, um, what you should expect from Ashanto region is um, breaking the records every year and then setting new ones because um, I think the training be being given to us is harder. So through the training and then yeah, through the training we will come out victorious every year and then breaking records too. I want a single jubilation from the Ashanti Regional team. All of you. I want a jubilation from you. A, a jubilation. A jubilation. Okay. See, take the mic. Take the mic. Ashanti! 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 It was difficult though, but due to how I felt within me that although they were all good, but I tried my best to be the best among them. You said due to how you felt within you. How did you feel within you? When we, when we were about to start, I was panicking small, but I had a vim. I was enthused much that I'll be able to get the gold medal. I said it, that I'll get the gold medal and I'll be able to achieve it. You just said you were nervous. Why were you nervous? First time seeing someone is, is something new. So I was a little bit shy. I was a little bit nervous, yeah. And as, as we started doing it, I, 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 I saw that they were, they were just something, something. So I'll be able to achieve whatever I wanted. The secret is about our training. We take them serious and then with the help of the coaches and then God, we are able to come this far. How do you do it? Um, we, we go by the teamwork. We love ourselves. We just motivate each other and then say that we can, we can do it. And then I think that's what we did and then now we have to make it. From now, what should we expect from Ashanti region? From now, um, what you should expect from Ashanti region is 
um, breaking the records every year and then setting new ones because um, I think the training be being given to us is harder. So through the training and then, yeah, through the training, we will come out victorious every year and then breaking records too. Oh, it's because of the starting and the second receiver. That's why we lose our hope. Thank you. Is this a blame game? No, it's not a blame game. You work as a team, you lose as a team. Yes, unfortunately one will win. As a race, one will win and one will play second and third. So it's good to play second, as it. Did you believe you could have won this race? Yes. That's why I, I earlier said the second receiver doesn't receive the baton well. That's why we lose our hope. The acting director general of the Ghana Education Service, Professor Kwesio Pokuamankwa, praised the athletes for their sportsmanship in his closing address. At this time that we are clamoring for national unity and social cohesion, let us go out there to strengthen the bond of friendship and unity that existed among us throughout the period of the festival. The manager of corporate communications for HFC Bank, Festos Mate, speaking on behalf of acting managing director of the bank, revealed the bank's excitement about the competition. We should leave this stadium knowing that we have new names in the record books. And from the notes I have here, we have 14, 14 new records set today. 14, you guys have done very, very well. And I must say that it is the highest number of records that have been set in an event like this. So it tells you that you guys are very, very good, and you guys are talent and you are asset to the nation. And that's the more reason why HFC Bank, we are here to support you. Yesterday, my MD said that we are here not only to provide you logistics for the games, but to, to provide you the support and also for you to groom as national assets. And so we are willing, we are capable, and we are willing to ensure that you guys are trained and groomed to become national assets. Kwese Free Sports spoke exclusively to the acting director of the Ghana Education Service, Professor Kwesi Opoku Amankwa, Director of Physical Education, Emmanuel Domenya, and Manager of Corporate Communications of HFC Bank, Festos Mate. I want to start by thanking and appreciating the work of all those who supported it, the organizers, the teachers, the regional directors, the district directors, all of them who supported the program. I also want to thank our sponsors, but above all, I think the students, the athletes who gathered here, they have done very well, and I think that this is something that should be going on. The overall, as I said in my speech, it's been violent free, we've not had any challenges as far as the running of the games are concerned and we believe that if we go on this way the other ones will be much much better you just mentioned that it's been violent free so what does that mean for sports in general and for your institution now what it means is that gradually we're coming to accept and know the role that sports plays in the development of people you know as a as a as, as a discipline it involves physical, social, emotional, psychological, every aspect, values, people learn values and norms through sports. People get to work together as a team, which outside there at the workplaces we work together as a team. To succeed, you need to work as a team. And the team is not only on the field, but the team goes beyond the field how you prepare, how you work together in your homes, in your camps, and all that. They learn that through sports. So through sports, we are able to nurture a whole being. And we want this to be something that will be carried on beyond this place. All the things that they've learned, we expect them that they carry it on and they improve on it.
What are some of the challenges that you encountered putting together this? And what are you going to do to ensure that these challenges are eradicated in subsequent events? Generally, if you are bringing this number of people together, there are issues that you have to deal with. One of the key issues is to ensure that these are young people, you are taking them away from their parents, you are bringing them here, their security, their safety, traveling over distances is very important. Their safety in the halls and hostels that you host them, the food that you give to them, and all the things that you do for their upkeep is very, very important. Again, organizing these games also requires some funding. And that is why we are so grateful to HFC and then the other sponsors, Crazy, iSports, and all the sponsors who supported us. You've done very well for supporting this program. And going forward, in fact, in the past, it was a yearly event. Now it has moved to two years. Every two years we do. And the key issue is about the funding. We want to get to a situation where we come back to the yearly event. So we will continue to come back to you, come back to HFC and other sponsors to support us to do that. Massively successful, my brother. <laughs> it's been a very successful program. Honestly, the beginning wasn't that smooth. There were a lot of teaching problems, but having started, we weathered the storm, went through, and successfully we have ended today. It's been a hectic nine-day program, and we are very happy and successful. What were these challenges? What were these things that you encountered that made the beginning so difficult? It all started with finances, but we did not have adequate finance to support the entire program the way we wanted it. But this. Uh, athletes having prepared for a period of time we realized we needed to push ahead and have this program done you know to satisfy the two-year gap that we have so we had to tighten our belts cut our coat according to our size and uh, go ahead and we did and this is how far we have come cutting your clothes according to your size and you termed it successful is this the coat that is successful or is the size that was very successful Everything was successful because I haven't cut it to the size. It fits you. And I'm telling you, four records ranking over 30 years have been broken. So you can imagine the preparation, the eagerness of these athletes to perform. And how come that we should relax and let them not come in? If you have not come in, these records are shunned. And that is it. We will only wait for it next two years or thereabout. So it's time management. We want to time the period, go ahead and perform. And we have done that. It's very successful. You just mentioned in the next two years, if, if the athletes weren't here, those records would have waited for the next two years. So look at the next two years. What is your office doing for the next two years? We've just handed over to the next region. And from today, as we leave, they're going to start preparing to host us next two years. And definitely a lot of preparations go into this activity. Because we don't just wake up and enter and work. So for two years, there will be massive preparations towards the next festival to come. Your partnership with HFC ends next year. The next event is next two years. Are you seeking a renewal with them? It's an agreement. In fact, they sought for five years. But we advised that we should have a test run and then extend. So in perspective... We have more than three years to go, but we act that. Let's do three years, review, and go further. So we certainly will have them with us next year to collaborate. Have you given them the mileage they require from you, and you are convinced that they'll be willing to extend it for the next two years? Yes, I'm very confident that they will extend it. Well, first of all, let me start by acknowledging the work of um, Ghana Education Service. They've done a fantastic job. Um, if you have to consider bringing down all these people, these athletes from 10 regions to one place. You can imagine the kind of activities, the planning, and everything that went into it. And I think we had a very successful program. And so even though this is not the first time they are doing it, 
I understand this is the 30th time. I think we had a well-coordinated event, and I think that it's good for me to acknowledge the work by the acting uh, GES director and the coordinator, national coordinator, Mr. Dominia, for the great work that they've done, and all the officials, the teachers, the, the, the athletes, the coaches, and everything, they've done the fantastic work. For us as HFC, we think that it has been a very good uh, partnership with them. I mean, if you have to consider that uh, for this program or for this event, we had 11 records, new records. You can imagine the kind of athletes that we had today from this program. And uh, to us, we are really happy that we are part of this partnership. We are really happy that we have able to support this, this event. And to us, what we need is that moving forward, that is for us, moving forward. That is what we are thinking about. How do we get this talent people that we have got in here to become a national asset? And to us, it's not just about just getting them support to just organize this event, but it's about creating or developing them to a national asset. So from here, I would say that we are going to go back to the drawing board with the, the Ghana Education Service. What kind of developmental part we can have for this to, uh, this this young 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 athlete and so so that is what for us we are going to do we are going to partner with them we have a three year sponsorship with them and we're going to partner with them to ensure that we are able to get the best out of this athlete for the nation we are in the final but one year left on your agreement with Ghana Education Service are you renewing this partnership with GS we will go back to the drawing board to analyze all the things that we have done and to consider it yes so we will have to consider it after the three years and see all the things that we have targeted for ourselves and all the things that we we wanted to do whether we've achieved it and everything and then we'll just consider it so it is something that we have not made a firm decision on but it is something that we would love to have a consideration on it yeah from the perspective of hfc have you benefited partner GS? Yes, we have benefited a lot. I mean, for us, as I said, it is about supporting them and giving this uh, athlete, this small, the, this young lad, a very good uh, path. And I think that if you look around, you can see that they have, a, they, have a, they have the logistics, they have everything that makes it very smooth since last year to this, to this year. So for us, it is about, uh, we believe in building successful communities. It's about this, the, the community engagement. It's about giving something back to people that benefits them a lot. And so when the community is happy, like the way we've seen a very successful program, we are also happy, right? We are also happy. So I think we've benefited a lot because we can see, we can see from the, the, the program since last year to this year, we can see that we've had a very successful uh, event. So for us, we are very happy. And of course, we've... The media mileage, yes, we, we got it, you know, and but that, that's not the most important. The most important thing is how how the community, you know, how it benefited the community, right? And we think that this two-year thing that we have done, we have one year more, it has really, really benefited um, the, the event. And so we think that if the, 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 the community is happy about it, we are also happy. I mean, that's the benefit that we get from it, yeah. The baton has been handed over to Upper East Region to host the next edition in 2019. On behalf of Ghana Education Service, the Schools and Colleges Sports Federation, I charge you to assemble athletes from our secondary schools two years from now for the next festival. We now charge the director Upper East. And then, we can have three more later. So the next event will be held in that place.